Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and you might have just installed Asahi Linux on your M1 Mac, and maybe you would like to uninstall it now. If you look at the documentation, there's not very much information on how to install it just yet because it's an alpha release. And there's also a couple of people having difficulties removing the partitions, so I'm going to show you how to do that so you can get your Mac right back to where it was with just Mac OS. Let's get started. Okay, this M1 Mac has already had Asahi Linux installed and is dual booting between Mac OS 12.3 and we can see the previous install information here from when we hit install it earlier. So now what we wanna do is we can take a look in Disk Utility and we can look at the partitions that are installed by Asahi Linux. So the first thing we wanna do is click on View and click Show All Devices. And you can see the Asahi Linux here. And if we wanna look even farther, click on the top level SSD, then click on Partition and you can see See the partitions that were created but if you try to delete the partitions in here you're gonna have a heck of a time because you're gonna get a bunch of errors so let's show you what we need to do now first of all before we do anything make sure if you created any files or any information in Asahi Linux back it up before we remove all the partitions because everything will be deleted also make sure you have a current backup of your main Mac OS system just in case something goes wrong so let's click on cancel here let's go back to the terminal screen what we want to do is disk utility space list now we see the information that we're gonna need here this is the setup here of the main SSD now what we want to do is look at it what it looked like before so if we open up the screenshot here we can see the differences here there should be zero one two three and instead we have these two right here that we have to take care of so we got to delete the disk 2, the EFI, and the Linux file system. But to do that, all we need to do is delete the EFI first. So what we can do here is use the disk util binary to be able to erase the volume. So let's paste that command in here and I'll go over it, what it means. So what we're gonna be using is disk util erase volume jhfs plus space drive dev disk 0 s4 but before we do that let's look at the identifier for the efi and make sure it matches as you can see the efi for asahi linux is disk 0 s4 that's the one we're going to erase so as you can see here it's ready to go let's hit enter and there it goes it's erasing the volume and now it's done now we're done in terminal and we can go back to disk utility so let's go back in here click on the top level drive and then click on partition and now we can remove all these pieces. We need to remove three pieces. This piece here, which is the full free space, the drive here, and the Asahi Linux. Do not touch the last partition and the first partition here. These are the only ones you want to delete. We'll click on the first one here, Asahi Linux. We'll click on remove. We'll also click on remove the drive. And we'll also click on remove the disk full space here, disk 0s5. Now we have all of our space back, but we have to click apply to set those settings. So let's click apply now and hit partition. Now this part's gonna take a little bit of time because it's gotta remove all three volumes and then take the free space and make it space back to the original partition. So we'll wait a little bit here and then we'll be right back. All right, it's complete. We'll click on done here. And then we will click on partition. As you can see, it's all back to normal now. We can click cancel. We can also see that the drive is gone here and we can do a disk util list. And there we go. One through three, just like our screenshot here of the previous installation before we installed Asahi. Okay, there's one final step that we have to perform after we remove those partitions and volumes. We have to shut down the Mac and restart it up. What'll happen is it'll boot to re the boot recovery assistant saying that the custom kernel failed to boot. All we need to do is click on startup disk. Then select Macintosh hard drive once it shows up. And then click restart. There's our chime, and then we're loading back into macOS. Now to show you that we're still okay with the recovery, let's shut down here. And then we'll power back on by holding the power button to get the boot picker selection screen. Keep holding. 
and there we go. We've got our options, and then we'll have only our Macintosh hard drive, and Asahi Linux is, is gone. All we need to do is click on Macintosh hard drive, and then we will be booting up as normal again. And there we go, back in macOS. And that's it for uninstalling Asahi Linux's volumes and partition and then resetting the startup disk back to Macintosh hard drive. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.